potato. Ain't easy being cheesy, boys. What's up, everyone? This is Autocus Tech. In this video, I will be showing you why you no longer need to use Face ID and how you can actually use Voice ID so you can unlock your iPhone with your voice. Open Sesame. So, because I said that, that's actually not the phrase. The phrase to get into my iPhone is FBI, open up. And my phone automatically knows to unlock itself because I said the right phrase. So, let's get started with the tutorial. And guys, real quick, before we get started, I just want to mention that I actually have a playlist on awesome ways you can customize your iPhone that are pretty much not seen anywhere else on YouTube. These are really cool, unique ways to get the most out of your iPhone. But on top of that, I'm going to be having a ton of videos on AirTags, so check those out as well. So, if you're interested in seeing over 100 AirTag features, check out the upcoming videos, and let's get started with the video. So, why are some reasons you might want to do this? Well, Face ID sometimes can be very laggy in the sense that it won't scan your face, or if you have a cracked screen like I do, Face ID can be a little um, sus at times, or if you just don't want to use Face ID. Um, that's why Voice ID, I think, is a good alternative for people. On top of that, this can be used for devices with a home button. So if you have a home button, you're good to go. So if you're sick of using Touch ID, maybe you have stuff on your finger, or maybe in general, if you use Face ID, you still need to swipe up with your finger. And if you have stuff on your hands, maybe you're cooking or something, Voice ID might be a good alternative for you. So here's the deal, right? There is an accessibility on the iPhone that lets you create custom gestures like swipe animations on the home screen and the lock screen and it can tell when your iPhone when you're, when you're looking at it. The only issue is you have to know the exact button placement so you can't just set it up to automatically swipe up and then type in your passcode and I'll explain why in a second. So to get started with this tutorial here's what is gonna be best for you. Go inside of settings, then you're gonna wanna go to face ID and passcode. Type in your passcode. Now, what you wanna do is if you do have face ID turned on, set up iPhone unlock, make sure that's turned off. But what I actually did is I turned off face ID. But if you don't wanna turn off face ID completely, you can leave it on. So that way every time you use the app store and make a purchase, you can have it on. Every time you use your wallet, leave it on, and every time you fill in a password on Safari, leave it on. So you don't want to turn off Face ID completely, you just want to turn it off for the lock screen. And I know that seems counterintuitive because everyone uses Face ID for the lock screen, but you're going to want to turn it off for that, for this tutorial to work at its best. It can still work without it, but it will work 10 times better if you uh, don't even bother. But you can leave it on and still be totally fine. It's just what I recommend. So, here's what I do. Um, I set my iPhone to have... Uh, change passcode and I set it up so that way it's a four digit passcode. I know those aren't the safest, but how often is your phone actually stolen? You know, not very often. But I have a four digit passcode and you, it works best for this tutorial. Alright, so now once you have Face ID turned off, my iPhone's looking at me, not unlocking, and you have the four digit passcode. You know, leaving Face ID is preferable. You can have that on and off. I just prefer to have it off. Once you do those two things, you want to go to general, I lied. You want to go to accessibilities, and then from here, scroll down until you see voice control. Once you see voice control, turn that on. Once voice control is turned on, scroll down and turn on attention aware. So you can see that, I'm trying to turn my head. If my iPhone, no one's looking at it, this will disappear. So this means my iPhone is actively listening to me right now. Here's how to get it so it'll only listen to you when you want it to. You want to go to customize commands, then for basic navigation, all of these, if you want to save battery, turn them off, right? Um, once you do that, uh, here's what you mainly need to do. Just go to customize command, then create custom gesture, and then you see FBI open up. Check this out. FBI open up. There we go. So FBI opened up my iPhone. But you want to create a new command. 
and then type in the phrase. So if you want the word potato to unlock your iPhone, that'll be the word. Now what I notice is if you're speaking, while you have this feature turned on, it'll fit it all in this text bar. So I have to be quiet when I do this. For the action, you're going to want to run a custom gesture. So I have my passcode thumb placement memorized, so I'm going to run a custom gesture, tap on hide control so you get a full screen, then swipe up, then type in your iPhone passcode, and you will see that your iPhone should unlock. Now I have a trick for you if you don't know where to place your fingers. So check this out. Potato. Ain't easy being cheesy, boys. Check that out. So another alternative for y'all is to simply um, put tape over your iPhone lock screen. So swipe up, take a screenshot. All right, so a good iPhone trick to use if you want to type in the passcode and are having issues memorizing stuff, um, the button placement, what you could do is take a screenshot of your lock screen, right? And then place tape over your passcode. So my digits is 8699. So I put tape over 869 and 9. Then what I'm going to do is when I'm creating my new command, when I go to do a custom gesture, here's what you do. You do your normal swipe up, and you type in your password, and you know where to type because of the button placement over here, because of the tape. So, pretty sick. Do that, and then every time I say the magic word, my iPhone will unlock. So, pretty clever. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.